Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss how can we create CSV file from MySQL table data by using PHP script. Nowadays comma separated values file data is most commonly supported file format for export tabular records between web applications. Exporting of MySQL table data to CSV format file is useful feature in your web application and it will become increasingly common in all type of web-based application. This is because this type of file consume more data and gain less space. We can store more data in CSV file format and it consume less web space as compared to Excel file format. So. In this video we are going to learn how can we export MySQL table data to CSV file. So let us start, this is my testing database and in this database we have one table employee with column name like id, name address, gender, designation and age. In this table we have already inserted some data. Now we want to export this table data to CSV file. So for this first we want to display this data on web page, this is my index.php page, on this page first we have make database connection, so for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to misclick connection function with for argument like host name is equal to localhost, username is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database name is set to testing. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from table employee order by id in descending order. Now we want to execute this query so for this we have write dollar result variable is equal to my SQL query function with two argument like database connection string which is dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this result variable. Now we want to print query result data into HTML table, so we have write while loop open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert MySQL query result into associated array and store all data into this dollar $row variable. After this we want to print data in table data, so for this we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write 6 table data tag and in first table data tag we have printed table column. In second table data tag we have print name table column data. In third table data tag we have print address column table data. In fourth column we have print gender table column data and in fifth table data tag we have print designation table column data and in last table data tag we have print age table column data. This will print all order data into this HTML table. After this we have defined one HTML form above this HTML table, so we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post and action is equal to export.php. Here when we have submit this form then it will be send requested to this export.php page. Under this form we have defined one input type submit button with name is equal to export and value is equal to CSV export. When we have click on this submit button then form will be submitted and it will send request it to export.php page. So we have moved to export.php page and on this page first we have write of statement with sit function with one argument like dollar post export. Here export is the name of submit button and this condition will check if submit button is value is set or not. If it is set then it will execute if block of code, otherwise no action will be table. This is for when some directly access to this page then at that time no code will be execute, this is because export button value is not set. In this if block first we have make database connection, so for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to misclick connection function with for argument like host is equal to locale lost, 
Username is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database name is equal to testing. After making database connection we have write header function with content type text CSV and char set is equal to UTF-8. This way we set output headers for CSV file. Then after we have write header function with content disposition attachment and file name is equal to data.csv, here we have also set output headers for data.csv file has been downloaded rather than displayed on web page. After this we have write dollar $output variable is equal to fopen function with two argument. In first argument we have write php output stream and in second argument we have write file write permission. It will create a file pointer connected to the output stream. Now we want to set the column heading of output file, so for this write file put csv function with argument, in first argument we have write open file which is dollar $output variable and in second argument we have write which data we want to write on file so here we have write array with data like id, name, address, gender, designation and age. This function will print this array data in line. After this we have write query variable is equal to select start from table employee order by id in descending order. This query will fetch data from employee table. Now we want to execute this query so for this we have write result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string which is dollar $connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar $query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this dollar $result variable. After this we have write while loop with open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar $row variable is equal to miscly fetch a sack function with one argument like dollar $result variable. This function fetches a result row as an associative array and store into this dollar $row variable. In while loop block we have write file put csv function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar $output variable in which we have store open file and in second argument we have write dollar $row variable. This code will write all employee table data a line as CSV file and writes it to an open file. Now we want to close open file so for this we have write file close function with one argument which is open file. So here we have write dollar $output variable. This will close the open file. So now our code is ready for export my SQL table data to CSV file. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends we can see that all employee data on web page in HTML table format. When we have click on CSV export button, then all employee table data has been exported to CSV file and it is forcefully downloaded in browser. So here we have write PHP script that makes CSV file from MySQL table data. In PHP script first we have set the HTTP header for define content type for CSV file and we have also set header for download file as attachment and we have also defined the name of file. Then after we have opened file from PHP output stream and then after we have fetched data from MySQL table and by using file put CSV function we have write MySQL table data into CSV file line by line. This way we can export MySQL table data to CSV file by using PHP script. So friends if you like this video tutorial, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.